Strawberry New York cheesecake, tiramisu cheesecake. USA versus Europe. A decision like this is gonna boil down to more than just cheesecake. Hi Siri. Hello there, Eric. Cheesecake factory. Sorry, I didn't get that. Siri, I'd like to see the Cheesecake Factory dessert menu, please. Okay, Eric. Here's what I found. This is gonna be interesting. Oh yeah, we can't forget one of the most important things. Shout out to Ben and Jerry's. Something still is missing here. I'll say that looks a lot better. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. But before I start all this guys, I wanna let you all know that this was all made possible by you guys, the subscribers. A few weeks ago, I had a subscriber all the way over in Ireland send me a ton of delicious candy. And then after that, I had a subscriber in Germany send me a bunch of delicious German candy as well. And after that, I had to think about it. What's really better? Sweets over here in America or European sweets? Regardless guys, we got a lot of chocolate and we got a lot of candy here. So I'm excited to give this all a try. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, and before we do. All right, everybody, so I got that camera. I got that camera right there. I'm mainly gonna be using that camera, but yeah, so I don't know where I'm gonna start really, but I do know I'm gonna need some milk with this, so. So everybody, this is the American versus European dessert off. Let's do it. Where do I wanna begin? <laughs> Why not start with the caramel apple? I almost forgot the rest of my candy as well. And the first bite goes to the new caramel apple cakes. Holy shit balls, that's really good. Wow. Wow. So this is a, uh, a catch bar. I have no idea what these are gonna taste like, but um, it's supposed to be soft caramel and crisp rice and milk chocolate. So, not gonna lie, this kind of does look like a turd. <laughs> Hopefully it won't taste like one. Okay, not bad. Kinda reminds me of like a fudge center. Not horrible. If I were to rate that, I'd give it probably a six out of 10. What do we do next? What do we do next? Um, let's see here. This is a choco bar. Andy, who sent me this, says, it's a Danish bar for you to try just like a American Milky Way, but with hazelnuts, non. Well, Andy, I'm gonna trust you because I wasn't the biggest fan of Milky Way bars back in the day, but we'll see. And there is the inside look. Not gonna lie, not a huge fan of this one, but. Might just have to save it for later. What else do we have? What else do we have? I have to have an old favorite here. Why does candy have to have so much wrapping to it? <laughs> the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. One of my all-time favorites. 
to where I could eat these every day of my life and be completely satisfied. So these are the pumpkin spice Oreos. Now we gotta give these a shot. Surprisingly good. Seven and a half out of 10 for me. Really surprised about these. Those feels when you have to wait extra long for it to soften up. And what do we want to do next? We have a Cadbury cream egg. These are always so hard to get unwrapping. Make a mess over here. Life is like a box of chocolates. You just never know which one you're gonna get. Shout out to Forrest Gump. <laughs> I think this is like a cream one, I don't know. We'll see. Yep, that creamy center though. And we have a lion white bar. Something different. I think this is like similar to what I had earlier, but just white chocolate. Wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Wow. That's my favorite thing yet. I did want to make sure that I got to these Butterfingers too. This, my friends, is my all-time favorite. Favorite candy. Apart from Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Funny thing with this is like, I used to like love going to the movie theaters and just getting the backs of these and just going to town on them. It was like my childhood right there. And I'm gonna do these now. I don't know what these are. I think these are like Italian cookies. Looks like they're just like, they're light cookies though, which is nice. So we're not getting enough sugar already. Sorry guys, that's garbage. I guess there's a reason why those were only $1.50. <laughs> I do want to try this Irish coffee fudge though. Solid. Not a huge fan of like coffee stuff other than coffee itself, but these are like a, they have like a hint of vanilla in them. I'm gonna have to give those a solid seven out of 10. Delicious. Now this is a Mondelez chocolate bar. You guys can check that out. Ooh. That looks delicious. Let's give this one a shot. Oh my God, dear God almighty. That one is my favorite chocolate bar yet. And next we have a dairy milk bar. That reminds me, I can't forget about the ice cream. Some people love it, some people hate it. Turkish delight in ancient Turkish candy. It's made with rose water. Can't say I'm a fan. Can't say I'm a fan. Ugh. Why does this only have to be limited edition? All right, so now we're reading Snapchats and I have a video Snapchat. Seasonal, of course. Pick the season. Right now we're in the season of pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice herb thing. All right, so Studley Do Right says I should do a pumpkin spice challenge. You guys already showed you guys or told you guys that I despise anything pumpkin. I thought I would throw those pumpkin Oreos in earlier just because, you know, they're new. They were okay. Okay, they weren't the best, but they were okay. Alrighty, who else do we got? We have Joe, who says, Eric, would you be down to meet, have a meetup in Toronto? Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, 
I'm doing my next contest. The poutine eating, poutine eating contest is going to be in Toronto, Canada on the 1st. So if you live in Canada or live near Toronto, definitely come out and visit me. Hanan asks, do you think you're going to bring back Saturday live streams? Honestly, I'd love to, but I work weekends now more than ever, and it's pretty stressful on me, and I like to take Saturdays to do homework, so I can't guarantee anything. Sammy Blue, who's an awesome subscriber, asks, will I be adding any new series to the channel soon? Right now, I'm actually thinking about doing a cycling-specific channel. So I don't know when that'll start, but other than that, I don't really plan for any new series. If you guys any, have any suggestions, let me know. Um, Malteser, this is a Malteser, it's chocolate with malted honey comb. If you like Whoppers, you'll love this. So it looks like a uh, chocolate bear of all things, but let's try this out. This is the Malteser. That chocolate shot though, pretty good. It's supposed to be a snowball. I don't really know what happened to it, probably got smashed, it did get smashed. Uh-uh, can't. Maybe if it wasn't smashed, but. Now this is a star bar. Chewy Cosmos of peanuts and caramel. So much chocolate, oh my goodness. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to the cheesecake soon. This is almost like a Reese's. Oh no, I'd probably give this one, uh, it's gonna be hard. Probably an eight out of 10. And now let's get to this tiramisu cheesecake because they've been sitting there. Shout out to Europe. Woo. Now it's cheesecake time. Can't go wrong with cheesecake. Don't forget that strawberry either. We ain't messing around here. In the moment we've all been waiting for, the final item, Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough. Of course, after we're sitting out all this time, it got melted. Oh well, it's still melting. Good thing I like melted ice cream. Not this melted though. And we're down to the last few bites. The final one. Close to that anyways. Ah. Alrighty folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been the American versus European dessert off. Really hope you guys liked it. If you did, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video guys and go eat some sugar. Wait, go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh,